Okay, so in this video we're going to talk about the wrists. I'm going to talk about how your wrists produce more speed. Uh, and it's not the way that you think. See, what, what happens a lot with golfers now is they take snippets of information. And I've, got, I've had quite a few students recently that have said that they found a better way to shallow the golf club and it's by releasing the wrist angles like so. And it's just not, that's not what we're doing. Okay, that's not what you're doing, not on a conscious level, okay? So what we need to do is we need to understand that the idea of when you're holding the club, particularly with your arms, what your arms are trying to do is they're kind of trying to always keep the club moving straight, okay? So if you imagine that this, this was a heavy bucket here, right, and you practice this at home, or you know, quite a good example is like a kettlebell or something, you don't want your arms bending, okay? You want your arms staying straight, okay? And then you want to use momentum of moving your arms around your body as my head stays still, and this in the golf swing produces tilt. See what I'm doing here? Not like this sort of thing, which is a very typical amateur. See the way I'm moving in the direction of the bucket, as opposed to you almost want to feel like you're moving the opposite sort of direction. So where your wrists fit into that is, first of all, you want to make sure that your wrists, or particularly your sort of trail palm, is always applying a pressure or a force outward on the club. Push, 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 okay? That's the first thing. That's the first thing that you want to do with your wrists. And a great drill to do that is a split handle exercise. So if I sort of take hold of the club like normal, and then what I'm going to do is just separate all of my fingers on my trail hand and I hit some shots from there, I should still be able to get some very good results because it's my palm that stays in contact with the club, okay? As I'm demonstrating there, and I can still produce wonderful contact. That's the first thing. Now, in terms of what your wrists are doing, yes, this wrist is gonna produce a little bit more of this type of motion, okay? It may also flatten a little bit. And then this wrist is gonna produce a little bit of a hinge, okay? And then that's generally it. And the feeling is, is that you wanna apply that force outward and you're gonna try and get the sense that as you start the downswing, you're not gonna try and consciously flick the wrist for any more speed because it's not that. What will happen is if you allow these arms to straighten as you come into the downswing and you turn, that's gonna get you into this delivery position. What you're not looking to do is shallow the club easy by flicking your wrists and scooping your arms, because that's just not what's happening. So my advice very much is your wrists, okay? This one is gonna produce a wrist cocking motion, okay? And it might flatten slightly depending how much you hinge this. But what these are doing is these are kind of retaining this sort of form all of the time. It's the arms that are applying the pushing. And as your arms start the downswing and they push, Okay, it pushes the club down, my right arm straightens, and then I can turn, and that's what gets me into that great impact position. See you soon.